Cardiac catheterizations have actually been around for a long time. They were developed quite accidentally by Dr. Soans, Mason Soans at Cleveland Clinic in 1958. Uh, but heart catheterizations are where we place a very small tube. It's about the size of the filler of a pen, usually in the leg, although it can be in the arm. It goes all the way around to the heart and we can take pictures of the arteries around the heart, which are kind of the fuel lines of the heart. And we also get a better picture of the heart muscle. It tells us whether or not there's any blockages that are in the heart um, arteries that would place the patient at risk for a heart attack in the future. And once we can see that it provides a roadmap uh, where we can, if need be, do any intervention upon those arteries and prevent further events such as a heart attack. Uh, heart catheterizations are very safe. Um, the risk is extremely low, probably one in 500 to one in 1,000 of a straight heart catheterization. There are, of course, high-risk patients and low-risk patients, but in general, they're a very safe procedure. We do most heart catheterizations as an outpatient, uh, where they come in the morning, and we do the heart catheterization, and they go home in the afternoon. We also do heart catheterizations on people that are having heart attacks acutely, where we can define exactly uh, where they're having their heart attack and decide what we can do to stop that heart attack very quickly.